Australia's champion driver of Group A touring cars is expatriate Kiwi, 47-year-old Jim Richards. Armed with his current race car, a $700,000 four-wheel drive, twin-turbo Nissan Skyline GTR, Richards and a talented teammate half Richards' age, Mark Scaife, have won seven of the nine races in this year's Shell Australian Touring Car Championship. Unfortunately for their opposition, it's the combination of a brilliant young colt and a wise old bull helping each other and in the best cars. Road versions of those race cars are now available for just a fraction of the race car price, $110,000 ready to rush away. Put simply, the GTR has the power and performance of a 928 Porsche with higher technology, more features, more passenger and luggage space for just over half the price. It is stunning for what it does and the refined, well-mannered way it does it. This rocket ship is as easy to drive as a Pulsar, but as fast as a Ferrari. And, one says cautiously, is probably better built, quicker and safer over a range of conditions. Nobody knows as well as Richards how good the GTR really is. Jim, this is pretty impressive to me as a road car, but how does it compare with the race car? It's, uh... You know, it's probably the, uh, the most sophisticated and, and the best handling car on the road, and it's got a lot of power to go with it. But uh, also, it's a very safe car. What are the features of it that most impress you as a road car? The most impressive thing about this car is the, is the handling of it and the traction and power that it's got. It's, um, obviously, it's got the four-wheel drive, which you, which you know about, but uh, the car just feels a very, very tight, nimble package, and it just does everything very good. And what about that gauge there that shows the proportioning of drive from front to rear? It's much interesting because that, that shows the amount of torque going to the front wheels and of course you can see the gauge start to operate as you go around the corner and then the torque increases to the front wheels, the gauge comes up so you actually know that you are getting uh, more front wheel drive. You, this has got anti-lock brakes, you don't worry about that in the, ro in the race car, but uh, how do you see it as a road feature? Oh, it's fantastic as a road feature because the, the, the fact is that the car will physically stop in the shortest distance with you putting your foot on the brake as hard as you like, it won't lock the wheels up, even if it's wet. Does it impress you for the limits that it has as a road car, or the, the refined, easy way it achieves what it does in the road? I think the whole car feels so nice in the fact that uh, if, you ha if you need a bit of power to get out of a problem of any kind, you've got it. But also you've got the best brakes, the best tyres, um, you know, and, and, and the best grip, wet or dry. So it just makes you feel a lot more confident when you're driving. A lot in reserve in the car. Heaps in reserve. You, you, you know, the average motorist would never ever get to explore the limits of this car and doesn't have to or even doesn't want to because the car feels so nice. All right. Well, I think we'd better let you get to work. Terrific. Yes, this thing's a guided missile on wheels. I suspect you're envious. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent looking thing. It's a yeah. superb car, it really is. And it, like the Lexus, it's another of those gigantic steps. I mean, they went to Spa in Belgium, sure. raced against BMWs and Porsches and so on. The Skyline won the race outright in Group A and won Group N. Uh, in front of the Europeans, and that's just the onward march of these cars into the prestige and yes. the high performance area of European cars. Yes, and of course you can't travel it any more than 110 kilometres an hour in this country, but it's nice to know you could if you were able to. By gee, you'd do it with some margins. Uh, <laughs> it, is, it is stunning. I, I, I said to Jim, what's the top speed of your race car? About 300. He said, I think it'd probably do 400 if we had a long enough straight. And this thing's top speed's about 240, but he said it might do 300 too if you could just give the r turbocharger enough yeah. room to go on pushing yeah. it onward. On an airplane tarmac <laughs> or something. <laughs> Incidentally, what does Jimmy Richards drive himself as a road car? Jim drives a brace of motorcycles. He has about half a dozen. He has some old Valiants, a Valiant <laughs> Pacer and a Valiant Charger, ex-Bathurst type cars, charger. but a Nissan oh. Patrol. Oh, and right. he's swapping a 300ZX for one of those when he's allowed into the queue to get one, you yeah. see. All right, now listen, why, why pay the extra for four-wheel drive? Well, they call it four-wheel steer now. There's a lot of cars with it no, on. Why? There's two separate things, four-wheel yeah. drive and four-wheel yeah. steer. Four-wheel drive is heavier, it's more expensive, but I just love the traction of it. Yeah. It's good in good conditions, and the worse conditions get, the greater margin it gives you 
right. over other cars. So I reckon it's a tremendous safety feature and very nearly as good as anti-lock brakes because it helps stop your brakes locking mm. and you use it more often. So yeah. I like it as a feature, although the engineers tell me that the weight is against it and it mightn't become as common as I'd like to see it. Yeah, okay. If you, you had those sort of dollars and it was the plaything that you wanted, you'd buy one of those oh. Yeah. Give but me the dollars again. Question. You wouldn't question it? 110. 110. No. Mm. Snap it up. When are anti-lock brakes going to become mandatory in every single car? Probably when they're more readily available at lower prices, as ever. These sorts of things start off at high prices in small numbers. Gradually and then as they come down, down the, the prices come down, they'll be available for less than $1,000 right. eventually when they're more or less mm. universally available. Right. When the government that. gets uh, serious about road safety, mm. I've got to help. Oh, well, when will that be? Mm, interesting. Yes, be Looks beautiful. What are you driving next week? A base model of the 929 Mazda, but very simple, a motorbike and a okay. new Vitara Suzuki. All right, see you next week. <laughs> Thank okay. you. We'll hang it. Can't wait for next week. I'll do that again.